everybody, this is Elissa from Mink Arts and Crafts and today we are doing my whip and chat and I'm super excited because I'm finally on the last section of this canvas. Uh, but whip stands for work in progress. I'm going to be working on this work in progress which has been like has turned into the bane of my existence. I am so ready to be done with this canvas. It is taking me so long to finish and I am so ready to finish. <clears throat> but this is Lunar New Year Kitty. It is a 62 by 77. <coughs> Ooh, pardon me, 62 by 77 uh, centimeter canvas, around drills, uh, comes to us uh, from Distracted by Diamonds, and the artist is Puffy Gator. So that is the kit that I am working on. Um, the kit is, uh, the artwork is the cutest cat ever, uh, and I was doing this, started it for my Lunar New Year event in February and we are in, you know, the last day or two of March and I am going to finish this so that it is done in March because I am so ready to be done with this kit. Um, I love the image. It is the cutest thing ever. I love the bling that I have been adding to it. I can't wait to do a post review and talk about the bling and everything that I've done, but the adhesive is driving me bonkers and I'm just ready to be done with it. It is like, I'm just, oh, I'm over it. I'm done. I'm done. And there's so much like the confetti in this. There's some unnecessary confetti and I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm over it. Done. Finished. Ready to be done. All right. So what tools am I using for this kit? I decided, I just decided I was in a, a plain Jane mood. So I am using a cookies and cream, uh, mini, um, Bella Arte Nicole, small tray, whatever you want to call it, this little ones. Um, I think I have, I probably need to put some new putty in here, but I am using this beautiful full Enablers Outpost pen. I may switch to this pen too, but these are the two pens that I have pulled out, both from Enablers Outpost, and they are gorgeous pens, but those are the two that I am using today. I love them both. Their colors are gorgeous. I'm about ready for a pen swap, which I will do once I finish with, I probably actually need to use this one, but I need to put some putty in here. Don't bag you little brat cat the kitten is doing chaos things um I need to pull the putty out and put new putty in I'm ready for some fresh putty so we are going to use this one because I don't feel like rolling over to my putty bin we're going to use Randa's crafty corner white Tahitian woods putty so let's go ahead and take our putty out and if you wonder how I take my putty out I do this and I basically boom do that and that's how I remove my putty from my uh, pens. And I'm going to do it on both pens while we're at it. And I do not reuse putty. I do not do anything like that. I just remove the old putty because I have so much putty. And I, and, uh, I just remove the old stuff, throw it away, and recharge with some new putty. I don't got the time to sit there and worry about putting new putty or like turning the putty around or anything like that so we are recharging the putty putting new stuff in here and once I load it I take all this excess off the edge and I usually put that back down so there's that one and now we are going to do the rounds and so it usually looks like that and then I just make sure it's pushed down and then I will scrape around the edges to make sure it is successfully pushed down. And we have a fully charged pen, diamond painting pen, and we're going to work it to go. So now we can go into action. And let's see, do I have anything else I need to talk about? Oh yes, and I have Wee Wax. I have yet not changed over. I'm still using this Mahogany Coconut Wee Wax, which smells heavenly because it is Mahogany Coconut. Now we can go ahead and turn off our hover overhead. This is my cheat sheet, which shows all of the additions that I'm doing. I'm going to start with the lantern. That way we've got a nice focused area to work into. So I'm going to work right here in this lantern, which means I'm going to be doing these things right here are the special drills that I'm going to be focusing on right now. So let's go ahead and turn off our overhead and we will get started. <sighs> How has everybody's week been? I hope you've all had a wonderful week and had a great time Ooh, throwing drills on the floor. I may need to add more. Oh, hopefully this is enough for the this. I'm using a pixie dust. Hopefully it's enough for this entire section. We'll see. We'll see. It'll be close. 
these pixie dust are kind of staticky. We will see how we do. If I need to add more or if I am good. I'm gonna breathe in the drills to just charge some of their light static. They're just lightly staticky, not too bad. Uh, so, okay, that was Mochi just jumping up there. She's fine, she can jump up there. Um, let's see, how has the week been? I was, what did I even do this weekend? Oh, I was going to, I was supposed to ship everything off. I I know I left off saying, oh yeah, I was, I'll have everything mailed off on um, Saturday. Well, I woke up Saturday morning at like 11.38. So post office closes at 12. So obviously did not get the packages mailed on Saturday like I was planning because the post office closes at 12. So there was that. They have officially been dropped off at the post office now. By the time of this filming, they have been dropped off at the post office and are on their way to everybody. So everybody, depending on what day you watch this, you should be getting your packages. I think there's two people that packages have not, will not get, have their packages yet. And that's because one of them, it's still uh, the grand prize for the lazy river painting. That one, you know, that one's still at the manufacturer because it takes longer. Uh, and then the other one for the gift goodie pack for from Lazy River, that one as well, because uh, Lazy, the owner from Lazy River, Steph, she's been uh, in and out of the hospital with some health issues over the last couple weeks. So those two uh, prizes have not been mailed out to their owners for said reasons. But everybody else's prizes have been mailed off, and you should be getting your prizes in the next few days yay finally depending on what day you watch these some people should have their prizes by monday others should have them by like tuesday maybe wednesday at the latest depends on like the post office and the mailing stuff uh but anyways so finally got stuff off but definitely did not get it mailed off on saturday like i was planning because yeah i woke up so late because sleep is still an issue for me right now it's definitely not, like, I was hoping to have my sleep schedule be back to normal. Nope, nope, not there yet. Not quite there yet. I need to, uh, I need to see about setting up an appointment with my PCM to discuss sleep options and things like that. Because, yeah, sleep is still an issue. Um, let's see, Monday was a pretty normal day at work. Nothing major happened, I don't think, on Monday. It was pretty normal at work nothing happened still still had it like the a daily migraine tuesday i was laying in bed i didn't stay up poor i was able to go to bed at like a relatively decent time maybe like 1 30 or so in the morning maybe 1 30 2 o'clock in the morning on about uh, 1 1 30 monday night which wasn't too bad and i was happy about that because that meant that i was able to get a de well relatively <laughs> decent night's sleep on monday night and then uh, work on Tuesday. After I finished my work day on Tuesday, went home, uh, everything normal, um, went to bed and laid in bed and laid in bed and laid in bed and finally fell asleep Tuesday morning at I think something like 6 a.m. on Tuesday morning. I think I finally drifted off to sleep and kind of off and on slept for roughly about an hour on Tuesday, which is ridiculous if you think about it. Like, I think I got a grand total of an hour of sleep, maybe Tuesday, uh, and then I had to go to work. And I'm seeing patients on Tuesday at work, and I'm like trying to see these patients, trying to talk to my patients and evaluate them and do everything. And I'm like, as I'm talking to them, I'm like catching myself, like, what am I even saying? Am I even carrying on a coherent, like, what am I, am I even talking like coherently? Or, like, my mind, I felt like my mind was drifting off, and I'm like, what is even going, like, it was really bad. It was so bad. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is horrible. Um, so, with all of that being said, like, it was, yeah, it was really bad. Uh, I was like, okay, hopefully I can, at this point, you know, stay up to a normal time when I get home from work, and then you know, maybe this is what I needed to kind of reset my sleep schedule because I got like no sleep at all. So if I stay up until my normal time, I'll be so exhausted that I'll just fall right to sleep. Well, I got home and I didn't even eat anything. I just got home, 
changed and I was like sitting on my bed, like all propped up on some pillows. Uh, I think I was either reading or watching like a, uh, a drama on my phone. And then I, I think I like dimly was like, I just need to lay down. Maybe I'll take like an hour nap or something and then go get some dinner. Something to that effect. I think some kind of random thought like that crossed my brain. Next thing I knew, and that was at like 5.30 or so, 6 o'clock. Because all week long I was getting home uh, basically around like, or I was getting off work at like 5 p.m. Um, all all week long. Uh, I was, which means, which I was delaying when I could go to the post office. So basically the next thing I know it's three three thirty in the morning and I'm like wait did I just like sleep until three o'clock in the morning with like all the lights on everything else like totally wasn't ready for bed uh I because I was yeah basically I did I totally did that fell asleep woke up at three o'clock in the morning and I'm like okay well and then, of course, I think I drifted off. I was mostly awake, but then I kind of drifted on and off from then until, um, like, 6.30 when I got up and got ready for work. Um, so I was like, okay, there's that. I guess I'm uh, now officially slept until uh, I fell asleep early. And uh, that was my Tuesday night. I in, But all this whole time, I've had, you know, the blinding nonstop migraine that has not relented despite medication. So finally on Wednesday, combined with, you know, I actually got a decent amount of sleep, but it still didn't reset the migraine or anything like that. And then everybody finally convinced me. They were like, you know what, just go over to the ER. Um, pain management is, you know, pain like that, pain management is a reason to go to the ER. And I did shoot off a message to my neurologist to be like, hey, this is, uh, the migraine, blah, 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 hasn't relented, blah, 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 blah. So I did leave a message for my neurologist, uh, which usually he usually gets back about like, um, about a, usually gets back like an hour or like a day later or so after I message, uh, the clinic. Um, so I, uh, finally broke at like Wednesday afternoon is my admin time. So I was doing some stuff and I was like just sitting there at my computer and I'm like, I can't do this anymore. I just cannot look at this computer and do anything. I can't handle, I had already taken like all the migraine meds and it still hadn't touched the migraine at all. And I'm like, okay, I'm done. I'm calling, like I give up, I'm done. So I, sorry, I was breathing on the staticky drills, shaking them up so I could pour some extras out of here. So finally, I was like, I call it, I'm done, I give up, I'm going to go over to the ER and see what they can do. And this is my first time actually going to the emergency room since, I think the last time I went to the ER was actually when I was, uh, I think I was like 15, or I think I was like 15 or 16. And I stepped on a metal rod in the basement, uh, and it went all the way through my foot. Granted, I sat down on the step and pulled it out of my foot, because why would I do anything else? Like, I mean, why, why would I just leave it sticking out of my foot? I'm going to sit down and pull it out and then hobble up the steps. So that was the last time. So like 20, 21 years ago was the last time I went to the emergency room. <laughs> so... I did go to the ER. There were, I think there was like one other person in the waiting room because it was like 2.30 in the afternoon. So, and they pulled me back really quick because I mean, like I've treated half of the emergency room staff or half of the ER staff are my patients. Like the nurse who treated me is <laughs> one of my patients. The, uh, the corpsman that did my vitals and the, the triaging type stuff his roommate is one of, is my corpsman. So it's like, you know, we're a very, we're a very small hospital. Um, everybody knows everybody kind of a thing, which is part of the reason I don't like going to medical because then everybody knows my business. Um, because yeah, it's such a small facility. So broke down, went, um, they gave me like a, uh, what they call the, the migraine cocktail is what they call it. 
Um, they gave me a migraine cocktail. Uh, and then they, because this was a change in status of my chronic migraines as a result of an illness, because it's been constant since COVID, um, they went ahead and did an updated CT for me, which was completely normal, um, which I expected it to be completely normal, but they did an updated CT and then proceeded to, um, do the IV meds for me. And they were like, okay, can you get somebody to come drive you home if you, after we do these meds? And I'm like, I could, yeah, I could totally do that, but I don't feel like I'll need to. And they're like, well, usually when we do all this, people get really sleepy. And I'm like, I doubt I'm going to be sleepy enough to like be classified as an impaired driver because medication like that usually doesn't make me sleepy. And, but I can totally, you know, get somebody and the nurse, then the nurse that treated me, he was like, well, if you're here long enough and you can't get a driver, then I can always just drop you off on my way home. Um, cause he's, you know, one of my, like, it's basically, like I said, we're a small hospital and everybody knows everybody. So I was like, yeah, I can get somebody if need be on standby to take me home. Um, but I doubt I'll need it. And sure enough, you know, after finished the IV fluids, after they pushed the meds and, then did the IV fluid, a bag of IV uh, fluids after that. Um, sure enough, I was like, they're like, how you feeling? You getting tired at all? I'm like, nope, I feel fine. Just gonna lay here in the dark. Uh, cause you know, they put, they put, I guess they put the, everybody with migraines in the back corner with the lights off. Uh, but yeah, I just laid there in the dark, wide awake, not, not tired at all. Like they were surprised that I didn't feel sleepy at all. And I'm like, no. No, I told you I wasn't going to feel sleepy. I wasn't going to feel tired at all. Um, despite the cocktail that they gave me. Nope, not sleepy at all. So I think I surprised them a little bit about that. That I did not get any sleepiness at all. From their, the medication cocktail. But did that, got, uh, and it definitely helped. It knocked me down from like an 8 or 9 out of 10. Uh, pain level wise down to about like maybe a two or three. So I didn't get rid of it completely. I still had like a low grade um, migraine going on, but it was like, it was enough that I felt like I could actually function and I wasn't just sitting there in like the blinding migraine pain. So that was nice to actually be able to be like, oh, I don't feel like I'm in blinding pain right now. Um, so did that. Look at that. I actually had enough drills of these to finish this. I was super happy. That was awesome. Um, proceeded to, um, then go, um, from there went home and I'm like, I do not have the energy to want to find something to eat after, you know, spending my afternoon in the emergency room. So I ordered delivery. I got like the, a new Mexican restaurant for delivery. Uh, and it was a slightly different um, medic, like a slightly different restaurant than the one that I normally go for. I think it was a new, a local, a new local, uh, restaurant that opened up that was Mexican. It was pretty good. Um, so I tried out that. So there and had that delivered to the house and had Mexican for dinner, which usually Mexican is one of my comfort foods. So I was like, yep, had that. It was actually pretty decent. I was, I was pleasantly surprised because a lot of the Mexican out here is kind of mediocre, which is surprising, but it's very mediocre because it's so usually so greasy and so heavy. And I'm not used to heavy Mexican. I'm used to like San Diego Mexican or like the light seafood based Mexican. That's the type of Mexican that I'm used to. Um, from the Mexican restaurants that I've been at from all of the places that I've lived, which have all been coastal locations, because, you know, I've pretty much never lived inland like this. I've always lived near the water. So seafood has always been readily, readily available in like the primary food of choice because you always, I've always lived near the, near the water and easy access to seafood. Uh, so this was kind of one of those things that you don't really get easy access to seafood out here because we're inland. Um, and it's not, you, you'll find pork and 
beef and all the other stuff more readily than you will fish tacos and other seafood options. But that was Wednesday. Thursday, I felt I felt pretty good Thursday. I didn't have the migraine. Well, I still had like the low grade, like two or three migraine on Thursday, which was felt like nice being able to go to work and not have like this crazy migraine. I actually got went to sleep and went to, like went to bed at like midnight on Wednesday night, which was also wonderful that it was like a decent time when it's sad that midnight is a decent time now. That's sad. But I was like, this is midnight. This is a decent time to go to bed. I actually fell asleep in a timely manner. It was wonderful. And then um, Thursday was a long day at work. I had to run a committee meeting at noon. Uh, so I didn't even have a chance to eat lunch. And then I, uh, ha after, and then I had a, a another meeting that was supposed to run until 4.30, but ended up running until 5. So it was a late day. Thursday was another one of those late days where I didn't get out until after five o'clock. I was like, ugh, such a long day. But we were able to do an early release on Friday. So I was able to get out of work at uh, like one o'clock on Friday as opposed to four o'clock. So that was wonderful. So Friday was an early release. And I was like, yay, because uh, I feel like it's been like long day after long day after long day. And I have to be back at the hospital on Sunday for a duty day. So I have one of my 24 hour shifts on Sunday, which means I won't be home until like after, let's see, I basically won't have a chance to go home until after um, like four o'clock, basically four o'clock on Monday. So I will work just shy of 36 hours is what I will work Sunday into Monday. Yeah, that's going to be so much fun. I'm so looking forward to that. Not. Yeah, that's going to be pleasant. But that's going to be my... But yeah, so Thursday was not bad. Uh, I did wake up Friday morning with the migraine back in full force. Um, back to like the high pain. Like back up into that like 7 to... um, Like that 7 to eight level um, migraine again back up there and I was like seriously only one day of relief like come on come on this is ridiculous but I checked my patient portal and my neurologist had prescribed me like a um, prednisone to try like some steroids to see if that would help to kind of calm this is my system down after uh, COVID kind of flared my system up so he prescribed that, so I filled that at the pharmacy, um, and I have a few days of the steroid to take to kind of get into the system and calm everything down a little bit and see if that helps. So I will we'll be taking that for a couple days worth, and hopefully that works to kind of help calm everything down and get me back to like a status quo baseline, because I'm over this. This is, this, yeah. I am not a fan. Nobody's a fan of migraines, and I feel for anybody that deals with chronic migraines or anybody that deals with, like, especially my patients that I've had coming in with, like, TBIs, because that's one of the things that's pretty classic for patients with TBIs is migraines and headaches like this, and it's miserable, you guys. If you've never had a migraine, it's unpleasant. If you do have migraines, I feel for you. And I'm sorry because it's not fun. But anyways, other than that, let's see. What else do we have? Oh, what else do I, what else have I even done? I think that's about the gist of what I've done. I have not done much this week, but I feel like I've been, like, I finally feel like I'm settling into hopefully being on the track of feeling better. Uh, I, I feel like my voice actually sounds a little bit perkier, which is good because listening to my last few videos as I've been filming them, I've definitely noticed when I've, when I've been editing my videos and listening back to them as I'm editing them, I'm like, yeah, you can tell that I have not been myself for the last month because my voice is just like so totally off. 
from the normal. Uh, and that's something that I could definitely tell that I'm not quite back up to par because I still sounded completely off. So hopefully, hopefully like the last, the video that I filmed for the Thursday night video that I filmed, uh, my temperature cell, um, process video, that one, I actually like, as I was listening to it, I'm like, Ooh, I actually kind of sound like myself again. So hopefully that's a sign that I'm uh, like on the right track and like perking back up and getting back to myself again and feeling better overall because I don't like not feeling like myself and not being my back up to par for everything. So hopefully, hopefully that means I'm kind of like on the upward trend of everything again, because yeah, I don't like not being back at it again. Like I didn't even have the energy to film like my normal videos. So I didn't film a Monday video and I didn't film a Tuesday, a Wednesday video, which means I didn't like, well, obviously I didn't, I was planning on filming one day, Wednesday video, but I mean, I fell asleep and slept until 3 a.m. And I wasn't going to get up at 3 a.m. and film a video to then post at 4 a.m. Because I normally post my videos at 4 a.m. my time. So it's up at 7 a.m. Eastern time for everybody. Um, but there was no way I was going to post, get up and film a video at 3 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday for you guys. So I was like, I'll just wait until Friday. But anywho, enough of that. I don't like having to talk about all of the health issues, but I like to keep it real for you guys so you can know this is what's going on. Boop, boop, boop. But anywho, other than that, oh my goodness, this chaos kitten is still being a chaos monger. She is such a little royal patootie. She knows exactly what she's not supposed to do and chooses to do it anyways. She chooses the violence and chooses to do it anyways. She's like, oh, I'm not supposed to bat this painting off the wall okay, let me stare at you, mom, and then take my paw, look at you, hold the paw just above the piece of art, look at you, look at the art, look at you, and then go boom, 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 and bat it, staring at you defiantly while I'm doing it, knowing that I'm not allowed to. And I'm like, this kitten, why must you? Why must you, little missy? You are a little turd. She is just like, a turd butt, total turd butt. Little rapscallion. <sighs> she's a stinker. She's a total stinker, but she's so cute. Oh my goodness, she was being the cutest little, little bee's knees of cuteness this evening. I, I guess she tired herself out earlier this, earlier today. Um, while I was sitting on the couch watching a drama, she tired her little kitten self out uh, and then decided, I want to be underneath the blanket, but I'm going to yell at you until... I settled down and then she was antagonizing Mylan, or I'm uh, sorry, Mochi. She was antagonizing Mochi from under the blanket, which means Mochi was growling at her because Mochi was like, why are you touching me while I'm trying to lay here? So Mochi was growling at her. Uh, and then she finally was like, okay, I'm going to lay down. She decided she was done being antagonistic. Laid down. Really? Really? Hi. Hi. We got a Mochi butt. You don't need to show your butt off. Come on, keep walking. Hey, pretty girl. What are you doing? You gotta move. Hi, Moch. Hi, babies. Hey, Mocharelli. Hey, pretty girl. You get your pretty girls. There's my Moch. Hey, Moch, Moch. I need to work right where you put yourself. What is this? No. Come on, you gotta move. Hi, baby. You're not helpful. What are you doing? You're not helpful. I'm gonna move you. I love you too, baby. Hi, Mochi cat. Hey, Purball. Why don't you go lay in a bed? You've got plenty of spots to lay. Here, you can lay down here by my feet. No, don't reach for the... She, I was going to put her down and she like reached a paw for my my shelf. Like, no, you cannot put me down. Um, but the kitten laid her little self. Finally was like, okay, I'm still under the blanket. I just finished antagonizing Mochi. I'm done antagonizing her. Okay, I'm going to lay here. And she was curled up underneath the blanket on the couch next to me. And then eventually she started worming her way out from underneath the blanket. And next thing you know, you have this kitten who's got just her head in her little paws laying on her side, uncovered from the blanket. It looks like she had been tucked into bed. It literally looked like she was a little, ba a little baby tucked into bed with just the head and the paws exposed oh it was the cutest little thing and she was just so sound asleep she was beyond adorable and I'm like she put herself to bed 
She was so tuckered out and she put herself to bed. She was so cute. And then she does, she does things like that. And I'm like, oh, you were adorable. And then the rest of the time she's like the chaos demon. And I'm like, what are you doing? You crazy little kitten. <sighs> but she's so cute. She's so cute. Get, Mochi, get yourself off of that. You're not allowed up there now. What is this? Now you're causing chaos. Move. Come on. Come on. Move. Come on. Get. Get. Get your butt. You know you're not allowed up here. There you go. Get in there. Now you're being a little turd lit. You know you're not. Okay. Well, go lay yourself underneath that blanket. You're perfectly capable of nestling yourself underneath there. I don't need to drag you under there. She's acting all put out because I'm not lifting up the top of the Udi so she can snuggle underneath the Udi. And I'm like, you're perfectly capable of snuggling underneath the Udi yourself, Moji. I don't need to do it for you. If I wasn't there, you would be doing it yourself. So I'm not going to do it for you. Ugh, she's silly. But anywho, so the girls are being typical, like adorable girls. They're just, they're just so cute. They're so funny. Um, BS. Let's see. And then what else? I'm, what do I have on my agenda? Uh, this weekend, like I said, I have duty this weekend. And then after that, I'll roll into another week at work. Um, and then I have another, uh, day of duty on Saturday of next week, which is going to be extremely, ugh, unpleasant because then I'm going to, because Saturday duties, you literally have no weekend because you have duty on Saturday and then you get off duty on Sunday morning, but you will have literally been at the hospital for 24 hours from, and there's no break. And it's like, ugh. so I'm not looking forward to the duty day the like this next week and a half or two week this next week and a half period is going to be rather unpleasant and I'm not looking forward to it so I'm already kind of thinking I'm like I need to look at my schedule and see if there's a period of time in there in this April time frame that I can sneak a day off in there in this next week and a half or so because I feel like I'm gonna need a break and after these two weeks because I'd like to have a day off after a duty day so normally if I had duty on like the, um, if I had duty on the, like Sunday duty, then I will take and not have patients scheduled for Monday. But since this was so last minute to swap my duties around, I already had a full schedule and I couldn't change and I'm not going to reschedule a full schedule worth of patients in order to do that. So I didn't do that this time around. Otherwise, if I didn't already have a full schedule, I would have done that uh, and given myself that little bit of reprieve. So I need to look at my schedule and see if there's a day coming up that I can do that and have like a day off in there and have a little bit of a breather so I don't feel like I'm burning myself out a little bit because I think I'm going to need it <sighs> sooner rather than later. So I may have to look at the schedule and see uh, so that way I don't have to wait until May in order to have a day off because otherwise that's going to be what happens. I'll have to wait until May. Uh, and then my time off, I think for the, cause I'm going to the, uh, Crafters Paradise, uh, retreat in May, the end of May, beginning of June. That's going to be the, that's the one with, uh, Shay and Alyssa and Kara and Katie in Tex Temple, Texas. I'm going to that one. Um, and I just have to book my flights for it. I'm going to fly, I think I'm flying into Dallas instead of into Austin because, I fly American Airlines and I can get a nonstop flight from here, well, from like two hours from here to Dallas, Fort Worth, because that's a American hub rather than it flying into Austin, which would still require me to do a layover in Dallas, which to me makes no sense because it would be quicker to just fly into, um, fly into Dallas and drive from there than it would be to fly into Dallas and then into Austin from there and then drive from Austin and still have to drive like an hour and a half. So I'm like, yeah, I'm not doing that. So I just have to book my flights and then plan and figure out the driving piece of everything after that. But I have to book my flights because I'm notorious for booking my flights at the last minute and I don't feel like doing that this time. So I should just not wait until the last minute to book flights. So yeah. But anywho, 
Uh, but I have that and I don't want to wait until the end of, of May to do my next, like to take some time off. And I did actually block, even though the trip isn't until like the last, well, I think like, I basically am taking the entire week prior to, um, the entire week of Memorial Day, or yeah, Memorial Day and through I think the following week so I'm going to take those two weeks off and just be like as a nice little vacation even though I'm only going to spend you know a few day a few of those days actively in um uh Texas I'm going to take those few days off and maybe I'll go and up to um Vegas for a couple days and go to some Cirque du Soleil shows uh, I haven't decided what all I'm going to do, but I'm, or if I'm just going to be a homebody and do nothing but stay at home, which is probably what's going to happen, but I need to actually do something, so I'm not such a homebody. But that's kind of my agenda, because I think I'm going to be due for a vacation. My brother will hopefully be home at that point in time, so I need to find a time that I can go up and visit my brother, or uh, see if he can come visit me, but I need to, I need to see my brother too. Uh, but that will be back up to Seattle. And I'm like, I just went up to Seattle. I don't know that I want to go fly up to Seattle again. But when I do go back up to visit my brother, I only have to pay for airfare because he will pick me up from the airport and then he will, uh, I will crash at his house. So I don't have to worry about like a rental car or any of those other extras like lodging or any of that stuff. Cause it's basically just going to be freeloading off my brother, which that's what you do when you have siblings, right? You, you just freeload off your siblings. And I'll just do the same, just freeload off the siblings. Or when you visit your parents, you just freeload off your parents, right? Because that's what we're supposed to do, right? Um, but I think I'm going to... So I haven't yet to decide, but I need to do trips. I've got 20... Uh, I think I have 27 days of... Um, I think I still have 27 days of user lose leave on the books. Or something like that, or 21 days of use or lose leave on the books that I'm going to have to use before September. So I'll have a lot of days, a lot of vacation time to use before September, and that doesn't even count the 60 days on top of that that is already sitting there. So basically you add it all up, that's like 81-ish or 80-something Basically, in count, including the days I already took to go up to Seattle, I have 90 vacation days, um, like 90-something vacation days that I could potentially take. I'm not going to take all of them this year, um, but I have to take 30 days this year because I have so many days. Because I already have 60 vacation days saved up, I have to use, and I earn 30 days every year, I have to take um, 30 days because I can only roll over 60 days. So I have to take 30 days this year. And I basically did not take any days in the first few months of the year. I think I took one day in September. No, I took one day in October because that's when our fiscal year starts. I took one day in October uh, as the leftovers from visiting my parents. And then I took like, I think six days when I went up to Seattle. So I've still got 20... Uh, three days to go that I can use this year. I'm like, that's so much vacation time. Uh, I really need to plan an international trip. And when I am done with my doctor of science, that is going to be like the first thing I do is plan an international trip because I am like itching to actually travel. I am like so itching for some international travel. Like you would not believe how ready I am to go uh, back, I need, like, I need to go to Asia. I, like, so am itching to get back to Asia. <sighs> like, it's a burning desire. I must be, uh, I, I have to, I need to get, I need to get back to Asia right now. Like, uh, I really need to be in, my, my traveling soul needs to be where it wants to be, which is in Southeast Asia right now. That's my favorite place to travel is Southeast Asia and I have not been in Southeast Asia since pre-COVID. So it's been 2000, I think my last trip was Myanmar in 2019. And then I haven't been back since, because then we rolled into COVID and I just did 
small trips within uh, the, the islands, so within Hawaii uh, after that. And then I've been doing all of my trips have been back and forth to Michigan or Seattle since then for school. And I'm like, I want to travel somewhere for fun. Like, can I just, can I go on a trip that doesn't have anything to do with school? Like, that sounds amazing. Like, don't get me wrong. It's like, I, I've been to Seattle three times now uh, in the last year, year and a half. Like the last year I've traveled to Seattle three times. Have I actually seen anything in Seattle besides a physical therapy clinic in the last three years? No. All of those trips have literally involved me flying up there, working in a physical therapy clinic, uh, and flying back. That's literally what I, well, I take it back because the first, the first trip I actually drove up and I didn't actually go to downtown Seattle or anything like that. I basically did like, I hiked and did waterfalls. So that was like my waterfall tour. I uh, did a lot of waterfalls. So I take it back. I did see things then. In Mount Rainier, I did Mount Rainier, of course, because you can't go to Seattle without uh, without at least once going up to Mount Rainier. So I did some hikes and I did some uh, parks and things like that. But the other two times, I definitely did not do anything. <sighs> so yeah, uh, I would like to travel and go somewhere that has nothing to do with school and nothing to do with... Yeah, nothing to do with school, and that's not Michigan and not Seattle because those are, like, very closely tied into school in my brain because that's literally where all of my travel has been for the last, what, three years now? So, yes, I want to travel some more fun, i.e. Southeast Asia. I just have to decide which country I want to go to because there's so many. It's like, do I want to go back to somewhere that I've been or go somewhere that I have not been? I probably will go somewhere that I haven't been, knock out a new country on my list. And then like once I've hit all the countries that I want to go to, then I can start like going back. But I don't know. But there's so many that I want to go back to. I want to hit up. I do really want to hit up. Uh, like I've done Thailand, Cambodia and Vietnam, but I haven't done Thailand, like northern Thailand, like the Chiang Mai area and Laos. Uh, and then northern Vietnam, uh, like Hanoi Bay. I really wanted to do Hanoi Bay. That's an area that I really want to see um, as I smack into my, my glasses, hit my tripod. So Hanoi Bay is an area that I really want to see. So I want to do that. I would love to go back to uh, China as well, but I think I have to get... There's so many more places that I want to see in China and I'm running out of time on, because when you get a visa for China, it's good for 10 years. Uh, and if I want to go do another trip to China on my current visa, I'd have to do it before, um, I have like before the end of, tw I think before the end of 2025. So that would have to be like a sooner rather than later trip. What are you doing? Oh, did you, Mochi? Is it, oh, that's so funny. Okay, I have to go rescue Mochi. <laughs> oh, you're silly. You're silly. You fell. Hi, baby. Oh, you fell. Are you going to get out of there? Or do you, come on. There. <laughs> Basically, what happened? I have my, um, my, one of my Udi's laying on top of the, my cat perch tower thing that's over in front of my closet door. And I have it draped in such a way that Mochi can climb inside it and like lay on the soft sheep wool Sherpa layer of the inside and be like smothered inside my Udi. Well, she had somehow in her repositioning rolled herself in such a way that she had knocked the front half of the Udi completely off of the perch while she was still inside it. So she was dangling inside the Udi curled up in a little cat ball while the Udi was still hooked over the perch. So she was like trying to figure out how she could get herself out of it while she was dangling in a cat ball inside the Udi, dangling in midair off of the perch. Yeah, she was like, hmm, but she was, she really was not concerned. She was like, I'm just going to nest in here. And she was totally going to roll herself up in a little more of a cat ball and just stay there. Um, but I rescued her and repositioned the Udi and put it, back in place and she's back to being snuggled up in there 
uh, on top of the perch inside the Udi, all smug cat, because she's silly, and she's like, I must be in here. This is my spot. She's a silly cat, silly cat, silly cat. All right, I think we're done with this color. Making good progress on this. I'm getting all of these darks done. I had already done some of these light colors here and a little in the ABs of these blues right here. Uh, so I've made really good progress with this and then this. Uh, even though I said I was going to work on this, this, the colors in here are also up here. So, you know, you can't neglect one and not do the other. So, you know, I got to do things. So... Uh, I have not purchased anything last week or this week, so I'm proud of myself, but I will be purchasing things tomorrow, so uh, I will be buying the Yume um, tomorrow, so that's going to be a purchase because, you know, Yume, must buy Yumes, um, so I will be purchasing the Yume tomorrow, that's no regrets, I will be buying it, that's on my exempt from all no buys and anything and everything else. So that's going to be my purchase tomorrow. Otherwise, I'm still working. Oh, that's a trash drill. Otherwise, I'm still working on this kit, as you can see. But I'm so close. I'm my goal. I I don't know if I'm gonna finish it today. I'm filming this, of course, on Friday night, like I always film these. I don't know. It depends on how my jam is and if I feel like I can actually sleep. Whether I'll finish this tonight. If not, it will be finished on Saturday morning. And then I will pull out my, I don't know if I'm going to pull out a small kit and try to knock out a snack kit tomorrow to have another actual finish. Or if I'm actually, what I, actually what I'm going to do is pull out Super Dragon and see if I can work on a Super Dragon so I can actually say that I have participated in Mackenzie's event since I've been working on this kit. And I've been like, my brain has not let me move to a different kit because I've been so focused on trying to actively finish this kit this month, because this has been the bane of my existence. But I want to be able to uh, say that I actively worked on a dragon kit to support Mackenzie and the uh, her s stoke your uh, dragon fire. Yeah, I want to be able to say that I supported her in her event. So I need to, I didn't put enough putty in this multi in this particular pen so the putty is all squished down so I have to add a little bit more putty to it because otherwise it's like it's not reaching my drills now so now we should be good we're gonna do the H's and then I think we will or we'll, we'll get part of the way through the H's and then we will be I think pretty good for today's video we're making progress. Ugh, I can't talk. We are making progress. Progress, progress, progress. But yes, other than that, that's like the only purchase that I will have made. Oh, I will be buying the Yume. Um, this is going to be a, and I have to, I have to film ahead. Well, it's like, I don't really want to film ahead. So I think my, because I've got duty on Normally, I would film my month in review on um, Sunday to go up on Monday, but because I've got duty, I won't be able to do that. So I'm debating. So I will probably have to film it on Monday to go up on, I'll probably have it go up on as my Wednesday video for you guys uh, because of the timing of everything. So my month in review is going to go up on Wednesday just because I'm not going to get home until Monday evening so that way I can kind of chill Monday evening and then I'll film it uh, I'll probably film it on potentially Monday or I'll just film it on Tuesday will be my that because I do do some diamond painting when I'm on duty like that and that's the 31st so I whatever I do on the 31st will count towards my month uh, and I want to see what I actually finish usually it's small things like s snacky stuff I'll probably bring some stickers or some paint gems. I haven't decided what I'm going to bring with me on uh, Sunday to work on as my diamond painting of choice for the month or for the week, for the day. That the what words, hard, struggle bus. So I want to have whatever I bring with me, I'm going to have as to show for the video that basic, that's what I'm trying to say. 
I can't film it ahead because I want to be able to show what I fin whatever I do, which I haven't decided what I'm going to do. Uh, I also haven't decided if I'm going to kit up like a small kit that I take with me and work on, uh, or if I'm going to just do like a paint gem or something like that. Haven't decided yet, which is why we aren't going to be filming ahead because no clue what I'm going to do once I finish this. That's too big to determined. So many factors to factor in. So, anywho. <sighs> but I can at least, once I finish this, I'll be able to say that I have actually finished, uh, I'll have actually finished technically four kits this, uh, this month. Uh, I'll have finished this one. I'll have finished my, um, uh, the two Superwoman or Wonder Woman kits, the two Wonder Woman kits. And technically I'll have finished the Mondrian kit. So that'll, that'll end up being really actively uh, four kits, even though three of them are tiny snack kits. So not bad. Not as much as I wanted, but you know, beggars can't be choosers really, especially with everything that I've struggled with this month. I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I knew it was going to be a struggle. Uh, I'm not upset or mad or, or anything. Some, you know, sometimes you don't finish a lot. And that just shows that, you know, sometimes I can pop out like three big massive kits like this in a month. And sometimes I basically finish one kit like this and then a couple snacky things. And that's fine. It's oh, everything is, it is what it is. And everybody works at a different pace. This month, my pace has been very slow, but I've also been riding a lot of struggles this month with my health more than normal. Ooh, we are done with the ABs for the H's. So now we can fill in the rest. Ooh, is that like a, that's a, that's a firework. That's going to be, that is going to have some ABs for these because these are fireworks. So these H's want to have a little, that's a firework, firework blast. So it wants to have ABs on those H's for these here. Da, 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 da. But I think, I think, yeah, overall, you can't, can't complain when it comes down to it. I'm still enjoying it, still having fun, still diamond painting, even though my pace is definitely slower than what my pace was last year. But that was one of the things I wanted to try to do was have a little bit more balance. So I wasn't, you know, staying up until one o'clock in the morning every day, diamond painting like a mad woman. Um, and I've been doing better about it. I've been trying to cut myself off and say, okay, it's late enough. I need to stop, not continue diamond painting. So I've been doing much better about that, uh, so far this year, which is good. Cause that was something that I was struggling with the control and managing my time like that last year. I had no self-control and I would just go to town and do all the things with no, no stopping. So I'm doing better about that this year, which is good. I needed that. I needed that control piece. Uh, I think that's about what I've got for you guys. We've made really good progress. I'm on to another color, which is always nice. I will keep going if I don't stop myself from talking. I'll just keep keep diamond painting and keep talking because it's just going, going, going. And I'm kind of like in the groove of going because I'm, I'm at that like finish line. This is like, because normally I'll be like, oh, I need a break and I'll get up and I'll diamond paint for like an hour on this kit and then I'm like done with it and I'm over it and I will get up and move. But I'm like at the finish line of it. So I'm like, oh, I'm so close. I want to keep going, keep going, keep going. Because I know I'm at the finish line of this canvas. So I'm like, I want to finish. I'm so close to being done. You know, when you're like, literally you can see the end. It is like right there. It is so close. I mean, like literally so close. I have like this yellow, this right here, the border, and then this little section right there. So I'm like so close to being finished. Ah, I can't wait. And then we are done with this kit. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Excited. It's so close. It's so close. Anyway. Okay. I'm done. All right. We're turning on the light. We're going to look at it. We're going to see what we did. And then we're going to turn off the light pad so we can get our actual coloration so look at how good that's looking right through here you can see what we actually need to fill in still 
um, but we've made good, really good progress with all of this. So we did, we filled in all of this dark right through here. We filled in all of that. We made really good progress during this whip and chat and we filled in all of this right here. The part that I already had done was the whites and the light blues right there. And then a little bit, just the one color of the border uh, and the frame of the border. That's what I had already filled in. But all of the lantern colors and all of this color here, I had already filled in. But that is all for you guys. I think I am good. I am going to call that for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. Thank you.